Hi everyone, this is Heather. In the previous video, we executed the retouch action on this close portrait. I should mention there are two retouch actions included in this set because the close one is meant to be played on images that are shot very tight. If you take a photo that is three quarter length or farther away, then I would recommend that you use the distance retouching action as it applies the softening a little bit differently. The rest of the steps in both of those actions are the same and can be executed as such. I'd like to share with you the final two actions in this set, the selective sharpening and final sharpening. This image looks very sharp to me and I don't feel that I need to sharpen her eyes any further, but if I did, I could use the selective sharpening. But instead for this image, I'm just going to execute the final sharpen by pressing play. Taking a look at the before and after, I notice that that is very sharp. So I'm going to reduce the opacity in the layers palette to suit my style. Now if we take a look at the before and after, it's a much more subtle adjustment. Let's run the selective sharpening action just to sharpen the diamond on the ring. When that action is executed, it also gives you a layer mask. If you press B on your keyboard to access your brush tool, you'll just wanna make sure that white is your foreground color I'm going to make my brush bigger with the right bracket key, and I'm going to reveal this adjustment by brushing over the diamond. Let's zoom in and take a look at the before and after, and that made a pretty big difference for this ring. If you feel that the sharpening is too strong, you can reduce the opacity in the layers palette. However, if you feel that it's not enough, you can actually double click Smart Sharpen in the Layers palette and make adjustments to the amount in the radius in order to increase the sharpening. You would simply make those adjustments and say OK. I think I'd like to run the final sharpening action on this overall image, so I'm going to execute it by selecting it in the Actions palette and pressing play. Let's take a look at the before and after. I think it looks pretty good, but I'm going to reduce the opacity slightly because that's my personal preference. 